Hello everybody, I'm Graphic Garage and uh, this is uh, Collage Art Photoshop Action video tutorial and uh, we can see some uh, photo example like we can create image like this one like this like this one like this one okay so at first we have to check Photoshop settings be sure image mode is check on RGB color and 8 bits channel like this then go to layer option panel over here panel option be sure this is checked like this okay and then we have to upload the uh, brush pattern and uh, Photoshop action of course so go to edit preset preset manager brush load and go in the main uh, folder select collage art action uh, gg brush press load these are the brush okay then go to pattern load the same load the patterns and then go to gradients load and load the gradients like this okay then we have to upload the action the Photoshop action so go to window action option panel option over here and go to load action and select the action and load this is the collage art Photoshop action this is the folder and this is the action this one okay uh, now we have to select the part where we want to see the paper scratch and where we want to see appear our images so we have to create a new layer call gg1 gg must be uppercase select the lasso tool this one and create your shape very easy for example uh, we can create a shape uh, like this if it's not perfect doesn't matter because the paper scratch is not a perfect line so we can create uh, some uh, imperfection like this why not and then close your shape your selection shape okay we can uh, we can fill your selection with any color you want with the black maybe press alt catch like this then create the second layer call it gg and create your second shape so with the lasso tool again we can create the second shape some things like this okay and then close the selection like this fill it like this and that's it now we have the two layers gg1 and gg2 with our selection and we just have to play the action 
okay this is the first message the first pop-up the first step we have three steps in total this is the first one and it's a click continue and then choose your first image you can choose any photo you want from your uh, from your folders from your computer then click place and next next click enter button on the keyboard so continue I select uh, uh, this one okay we can uh, <coughs> sorry we can resize the image we can uh, rotate the image we can uh, flip the image like this maybe a bit bigger like this and then just press ok or enter in the keyboard this is the second message it's the same message click continue and then choose your second image click place next click enter button the keyboard to approve so ok I choose uh, uh, this image is the same on the background but I want to resize bigger like this flip horizontal why not and place it here click enter and just wait that's it the action is, is finished sorry we have two steps not not three steps my fault my bad sorry and uh, the action is finished here on the layer panel we can see all the layer the action creates we can start from the bottom this is your first image you choose we can uh, we can uh, this is a smart object so we can uh, select black and white uh, color we can add some noise we can uh, like this if you if you double click on these options you can customize all the all the parts of the photo like noise for example i want uh, 15 press ok i like i like color version why not we can uh, make some uh, some blur with Gaussian blur. Double click, you can increase or you can decrease the Gaussian blur. I like something like uh, four. Okay. You can choose uh, levels. Over here, you can uh, increase the shadows the black parts of the photo or the highlights of the photo the photo lights like this for example yeah I like that <coughs> and over here we can apply a pattern texture just check the high on this layer and uh, we can select the pattern on double click over here we have all the all the action uh, pattern you can we upload that before you can choose them like this one not this one yeah like this and why not we can scale it this is too big uh, we can make something like 215 maybe 200 yeah I like it this is the shape uh, we select uh, this is the image on the bottom we can find the same uh, customization part in the smart object noise level and black and white we can apply texture pattern over here as well why not we can try maybe 
this one we can change the blending modes something like multiply and decrease the opacity like this okay this is the second image on the orange folder the first image is the red folder same here we can uh, customize noise level black uh, black and white uh, we can apply a, a pattern and we can apply a gradient in the both both photo we can apply a gradient we can try why not and uh, we can apply all the 10 gradients included in the pack maybe this one why not but it's too much we can uh, reduce the opacity to 30 40 yeah. like this over here we can decide if you want a frame this is the first frame the red one is this one or we can apply a second frame like this we can choose the colors of the frame we can uh, change color maybe some yellow or some orange why not over here we can uh, uh, we can use the elements some elements like this one we can change the color like this one pencil effect we can change the color over here like this one is another pencil effect this one maybe changing color why not but maybe in this kind of photo I don't like it and over here element 5 tape element 5 tape 2 we can uh, select the tape paper we can uh, rotate it we can resize the tape and put maybe over here we can use the second one even maybe in this part why not and that's it so thank you so much and uh, see you in the next video tutorial by graphic garage